feels gray and it's like it's like a hangover but it's not and I'm having one of those days right now and I think there's a scientific explanation for it and I heard about it in a podcast but I don't know if it's true or not well I'm sure it's true because the guy who was talking about it um, was a specialist in the human body and more specifically the human mind. I don't know if he was a psychologist or not. Hi, side note, Spiker in the future here. I pulled up the Tim Ferriss podcast where I heard this from and it was from Dr. Andrew Huberman. He has his own podcast and I think he's from Stanford. I don't know. Might have to pull up the podcast to figure that out. But this is where he's talking about dopamine and talking about baselines of do dopamine that you have and you can go high and you can go low and then what can actually happen off of it. Um, I don't know how long this clip is so I'm just going to let it run and then I'm going to make the edit and the cut and then get back into um, the vlog. Pursue the win. All right, let's, let's move this to modern day. I'm going to I'm going to run this marathon. I'm going to train for this marathon. Then you run the marathon and you finish you cross the finish line, you feel great, and you would think, okay, now I'm set for the entire year. I'm gonna feel so much better. I'm gonna feel this accomplishment in my body. It's gonna be so great. That's not what happens. You might feel some of those things, but your level of dopamine has actually dropped below baseline. Now, eventually it will ratchet back up. But two things are really important. First of all, the extent to which it drops below baseline is proportional to how high the peak was. So if you cross the finish line pretty happy it won't drop that much below baseline afterward if you cross the finish line ecstatic well a day or two later you're going to feel quite a bit lower than you would otherwise you might not be depressed because it depends on where that baseline was to begin with but the so-called postpartum depression that people experience after giving birth or after some big win a graduation or any kind of celebration that postpartum drop in mood and affect and motivation is the drop in baseline dopamine. This is very important to understand because this happens on very rapid time scales and it can last quite a long time. It also So, dopamine is the driver of all things. So to take that adventure, to go do that thing. Like dopamine is not a bad thing. He's just saying that there's just ebbs and flows and you gotta kinda understand kinda where your dopamine levels are. I feel like I had a huge dopamine hit from our director's meeting and today just feels like, eh. And why it feels like, eh, is because the creativity of creating a vlog is extremely hard today. I have tried to come up with numerous ideas of what I want to talk about that actually has value and actually explains a story. And going through this process of trying to create a vlog while I put away dishes seemed like a really good idea because I didn't have anything. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna turn the camera on and record. And one of my favorite creators of all time is Walt Disney. His ability to produce content, create stories that are interesting, and some of them well, weren't really his, but he was able to create an interesting stories out of those. His consistency is what is impressive. So forcing myself to film myself was a huge task mentally today because I feel like I'm just in a gray screen, a gray TV today. St. Louis is a mighty fancy place. I wrote there once to a medicine company for a bottle of liver pills. Guess what they sent me? I haven't any idea. 
Pair of ladies' garters and an invitation to join the elf. <laughs> So what does that have to do with any of the readings that I did today, the 10 pages I read? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> the readings today were a little bit damper on the damp end, and I don't know if that's what caused the whole day. I still think it's a dopamine thing, but it was a little bit of a damper. I didn't really want to share the information, and I didn't have like good enough concrete ideas to explain the topic. But what it was about was about TV. And I did explain how TV has, I didn't watch that much TV, and there's a lot of good explanations on the effects of screen time for younger children. I just need to digest it a little bit more, and then if it is concrete in my head, being able to share it with you. Because the last thing I want to do is spout off something that I think I know about but I don't really know about and come off like I'm an expert. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, I used to be this way. I thought everyone was an expert. But in reality, we're on this journey of knowledge and we only know so much and then you find new information. Is that really an expert? I don't think so. Anything that I say on this YouTube channel I'm on a journey, so take it for what it is. I'm gonna explain stuff, I'm gonna talk about stuff, and it's kinda of up to your decision if you think that I'm full of it or I'm not. And I hope that you would correct me if I am wrong, because I do wanna know if I am wrong. That is a really important part of learning. And when I was younger, I didn't do that. I thought I knew everything. And I have lessons at like 4.30, so I have to leave here shortly. But I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. So what was the point of this whole vlog and this story and me doing the dishes? It's if you do the dishes, your wife is gonna be happier.